Okay, students. Myself, Dr. Dakshayani, working as an assistant professor in Government First Grade College, Rajiranagar. So, I am giving a presentation on the subject called as International Finance for Sixth Semester BBA students. So, in this presentation, I am going to cover the meaning and definition of finance and international finance, then the scope of international finance. So, let us move on to the meaning of finance. So, what is finance? The word finance is derived from the Latin word finis, which means money. So, finance refers to the management of the flow of money through organization. Finance is nothing but provision of money as and when it is required. So, coming to the definition of finance, according to Body and Merton, finance is the study of how scarce resources are allocated over time. So, moving on to the meaning of international finance. The international finance, it is also called as international monetary economics or international macroeconomics. So, international finance, it is a branch of financial economics which is mostly concerned with monetary and macroeconomics, interrelationships, between two or more countries. It studies the dynamics of the global financial system, international monetary system, balance of payment, exchange rates and also FDI that is foreign direct investment. Moving on to the definition of international finance. So international finance it is a branch of economics and studies the dynamics of exchange rates foreign investment and how these affect our international trade. Now let us discuss about the scope of international finance. The scope of international finance is as follows. The first scope is international institution. An international institution is an organization with an international membership, scope or presence. So, under this international institution, students, there are two main types. That is, the first one you have is international non-governmental organization, that is, INGOs. These include international non-profit organizations such as the World Organization of the Scout Movement, the International Committee of the Red Cross, etc. The second one you have is intergovernmental organizations. It is also known as international government organizations. These are the organizations that are made up, made up of primarily sovereign states that is referred to as member states. So the next one you have is international market. So it involves recognizing that people all over the world have different needs. Companies like Gillette, Coca-Cola have brands that are recognized across the globe. So international market, I am repeating, it involves recognizing that people all over the world have different needs. The third one you have is international financial services. So international finance encompasses the study of international monetary economics which involve the interaction of international transactions. These transactions consist of factors such as national income, money and prices. The fourth scope of international finance is international financial institutions. So international financial institutions are increasingly involved in the conflict situations and countries in which violations of international humanitarian law are widespread and devastating that is destructive to the civilian population and the country's economic prospects. The fifth one you have is international risk management and this helps in identifying the individual risk. It evaluates risk magnitudes and exposure levels. The sixth one you have is foreign exchange market. Foreign exchange transactions are central to global commerce. The foreign exchange market is the network of private citizens, corporations and government officials that trade overseas currencies amongst each other. 
द बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट अकाउंटिंग इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट टू एग्जामिनिंग इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंस एंड इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंशियल फ्लोस द बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट्स इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री सेपरेट अकाउंट दैट इज द करेंट अकाउंट कैपिटल अकाउंट एंड ऑल्सो द फाइनेंशियल अकाउंट so with this we'll come to the end of this first presentation on the meaning definition of international finance and also the scope of international finance i hope you understood students thank you